Hello, my name is Brent Miller. I am on the assessment team here at Michigan Language Assessment. I'm also a certified MET speaking examiner. Uh, today, I wanna to share some activities and some tips for helping students prepare for the MET speaking section. Specifically, we're going to be talking about phrases. The Michigan English test is a multi-level English test that covers high beginner to advanced levels of the common European framework of reference for languages. So that's CEFR levels A2 to C1. The MET speaking section gives test takers the opportunity to demonstrate their ability to describe a picture, talk about a personal experience related to that picture, give a personal opinion related to the picture, explain advantages and disadvantages of a given situation, and give an opinion and try to persuade the examiner to agree with them. In this talk, I'll be discussing ways to practice the three parts of the test underlined here. These tips come from research that's available in our research library, which you can browse on our website. The working paper that I'll be referring to today is titled Validating the MET Speaking Test Through Phraseological Analysis, a Corpus Approach to Language Assessment. The authors of this paper looked at phraseological competence, which they define as our ability to use lexical phrases. So a phrase uh, would be something like, I think that. And the idea here is that fluent speakers of English tend to use more of these phrases. They're also a way to assess a speaker's language proficiency. Higher level learners tend to use more and a wider range of phrases such as on the other hand, and another thing, etc. The authors used performances from real MET speaking test takers. They created a data set of hundreds of thousands of words that these test takers used during the speaking section. From these performances, they extracted three, four, and five word phrases like, I think so, and a lot of people, then they compared these phrases across CEFR levels A2, B1, B2, and C1. Their analysis helped provide evidence of the MET test's validity. Using this research as a starting point, it seems that higher ability students have more phrases in their repertoire. So my goal today is to provide you with some tips to grow students' phraseological competence which will ultimately help prepare them for the MET speaking section. So the first thing you can do with your students is introduce or review stance and evaluative expressions. For example, I think that, I feel that, it seems to be, it would be. Another kind of phrase that you can introduce or review with your students uh, is this prepositional phrase frame the blank of, where the blank, or the middle word, is a noun. For example, the advantages of, the back of, the kind of. After introducing or reviewing these phrases, you can then ask students to come up with additional phrases that they can use to help them introduce and elaborate on their ideas. An activity that you can do with students would be peer interviews. So this would be a paired activity that can be done in class or through a homework assignment that students record and share with the class. So the idea here is that students would take turns asking and answering questions. So they would alternate the roles of interviewer and interviewee. So one student would ask the other, where do you want to go on your next vacation? And the interviewee would begin their answer with the phrase, I think that and then they would fill in the rest of that information based on where they wanna go on their next vacation. So I think that Scotland would be a great place to go on vacation. There are a few different extensions that you can add on to this activity. So the first one would be to ask students to come up with additional phrases to use in responding to the questions they're being asked. Uh, this will help communicate that there are multiple phrases that they can use for each kind of question. Another extension would be to have students 
answer each question two or more times, and each time they answer, they should use a different phrase to respond. A third extension would be to provide students a longer list of phrases to choose from. For example, in order to find out, the point is, I'd say, and ask them to use a variety of different phrases to respond to some of the interview questions. There are many additional activities that you can do with students that help them practice using phrases. The ideas here come from a video on our YouTube channel titled Michigan Study at Home, MET Speaking Test Study Tips. The first idea is to have students record themselves answering questions from the test, and an extension of this idea would be to use phrases mentioned in this presentation to begin their responses, such as, I feel that, the advantages of, etc. Students could also practice speaking with a friend or family member in English. They could also write down their answers to some of the questions from the test. An extension of this activity would be to use phrases featured in this presentation to start their responses. You could also ask students to watch short videos in English, but especially ones where people give their opinion about something. For additional resources to help students prepare for the MET speaking section or the MET, you can visit our website. You can also visit our YouTube channel for more helpful videos. Thanks for watching. If you have questions, please reach out to us at info at michiganassessment.org.